Club virtual meetup. And I'm so glad that you have joined me in the Imagination Corner. My name is Jen and I am with the Blue Mountains Public Library. I hope you guys have had a super duper week and I'm so glad that you've joined me for some more fun activities. So if you picked up your kit, hopefully you have it with you. This week's theme is hockey. So you'll have a coloring page, a fun maze that you can try out. And then the very back page is the imagination corner activity. And this week we are going to be making our own hockey mask. So on the inside of this booklet, you will have a hockey mask template that you guys can cut out. And if you want to decorate it with some stickers or if you want to paint it or use some markers, grab those supplies. Um, when we're ready to get started. And then you'll also have your TD Summer Reading Club bookmark. So like I mentioned last week, the more you read, the better the chances you are of winning some super cool prizes throughout the summer. So how this works is you flip it over, you pop your name on it, your contact info, and the names, like the titles of the books that you're reading, and you take it on down to the Ellie Shore Library, pop it into the ballot box, and twice a month, we uh, have a summer reading club prize draw. So I can't say it enough. The more you read, the better your chances are of winning some fun things for the summer. And I'm um, just gonna share a tidbit of information. So if you have registered for TD Summer Reading Club, You'll know that the theme this year is game on and it's a celebration of the olympics which is why i thought we could create our own hockey mask so i'm not sure if you guys know this but jacques plant um was the first hockey player in 1959 to wear a mask full time during the hockey game and it was a game between the montreal canadians and the new york rangers and as the years progressed and, you know, like health and safety became more prominent and people began to get very serious about it. So the goalie mask changed as well. So I went for something like this, where it was very difficult to see out of to masks that they wear today. So like the cages and now the, um, I guess like the plexiglass kind of helmet. So there's been quite the evolution in the goalie mask and the hockey mask. And if you're ever looking for some really cool books to read about like sports or hockey, remember to check out our catalog because we have a ton of fun books that you guys can check out, read, and add them to your bookmark. So, um, grab your supplies. What you're gonna need from home will be some glue if you're going to be decorating the mask, whatever you want from home to decorate it, um, some glue and definitely a pair of scissors. Grab those things and meet me right back here and we're gonna get started. All right, friends. So if you guys registered for TD Summer Reading Club uh, this summer, the theme is Game On and it's in celebration of the Olympics. So we thought it would be fun to have a sports theme activity this week and it's super, super easy. So in your booklet, you'll receive um, a goalie mask template that you guys can cut out and decorate. You'll also have a couple of pieces of string that you guys can use to tie it around your head so you can wear your mask or if you want one of your favorite stuffed animals to wear it, they can wear it as well. From home, you'll need a pair of scissors and a glue stick. And if you want to color, paint, or add some stickers or anything to your goalie mask from home, then you guys can run and grab those now. So our second step, once we've gathered all of our supplies, we are going to cut out the template. It may look tricky and if you don't want to cut out all of the holes or anything, you don't have to. If you want to cut out just the shape and the eye slits, awesome. Um, so you can see out of the eyes when you are going to be wearing your mask. 
So I'm gonna start cutting and then we'll meet right back here. If you need help, just remember, ask a grown up to help you um, with some of the harder cutting. All right, meet you back here. Okay, I have finished cutting. So, for cutting out the eye slits, I'm just gonna show you an easy trick. I'm gonna gently just fold my mask a little bit and I'm gonna take my eye slit and just slit right in the middle. And then I'm gonna very carefully take my scissors and cut them out this way. And I thought, since we are making a hockey, our goalie mask craft together, that I would share some info. Maybe you guys know this info because maybe you guys are huge hockey fans. But for those of you who don't, I always find it really fascinating to like share like some history tips about things. Um, Jacques Plant was the first goaltender to create and use a practical hockey mask and that happened in 1959. So up until 1959, they weren't even wearing uh, masks while they were playing hockey. And his mask was made out of a piece of fiber glass that was shaped to his face. And then as the years progressed and, um, you know, people figured out better ways to create safer hockey masks that, you know, uh, were easier for the players to wear and protected their faces more. That was when the hockey cage came about. And, but yeah, pretty neat. 1959 was when the first hockey player actually started to wear a goalie mask. Okay, so there's the eyes that I've cut out and now we're gonna do the same thing here for our string. If you have a hole punch, you can use a hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, we're just gonna very gently snip there and snip there. And then we'll feed our yarn or our string through. Just a smidge. And then we can tie one end off. And this, um, if you need to have a grown up help you with this part, please ask. And then place it onto your face to measure how much string you'll need. Once you have your string attached, you can then decorate it, add some stickers to it, customize it to the way you would like for it to look like. All right, friends, and that is it for today's activity. Remember to meet me right back here next Friday at 1 p.m. for some more Summer Reading Club virtual meetup Imagination Corner fun. Until then, it's game on and keep reading. <laughs>